Welcome to the video. We're going to compare image generation results between the big three across five different categories. The contenders are we have Dolly 3. Dolly 3 is available on the Plus plan within ChatGPT. Next is Stable Diffusion XL. It's the newest model from Stable Diffusion. You can access this image generator from their API or by going to beta.dreamstudio.ai slash generate. In order to use this, you need to purchase credits, but credits are pretty cheap. You get roughly 5,000 images for every $10. And last we have Midjourney. Midjourney just released their latest model, which is version six. You access Midjourney through Discord, but first you need to purchase a subscription plan. The basic plan, the lowest one, it's $10 per month. You get about 200 image generations. Once subscribed, you access their image generator by going into Discord. You can go into their Midjourney server and then you can grab their Midjourney bot right here. And then you can add that bot to your own server where you can start generating images. We're gonna be testing each image generator across five different categories. So we have cartoon images, we have photorealistic human, we have architecture, we have seamless patterns and logos. There are hundreds of different categories. I chose just this five to get a wide range of outputs from these models. But for each round, we're gonna generate an image based on one prompt that fits into that category. We're gonna compare all three models and then you can personally choose which style, which look, which generation that you prefer. For some of these, there's probably not gonna be a true winner. They're all gonna look good. So then it comes down to personal preference. And then for fun at the end, I'm gonna show a Dolly 2 image as well for that same prompt so we can see how far we've come. To get the prompt used across all models, I wrote in ChatGPT, write five Dolly prompts that can test its ability to generate a cartoon image. Cartoon image is the first category. I just changed this for each of the categories. Then it shot out five of them, and I just picked the one that sounded the best. So you'll see in round one, I chose this underwater adventure. Okay, let's get started. To have a little more fun, I have hidden which model is which in these outputs. So while you're watching, I want you to guess which image is Dolly 3, which image is Mid Journey version 6, and which image is Stable Diffusion XL. I want you to guess in the comments below before you see the answer. Let's see if we can start noticing some patterns between all of the models. First, this is the cartoon image. So we got depict an underwater cartoon scene with a cheerful octopus wearing a pirate hat, surrounded by treasure chests, colorful coral reefs, and playful fish. The water should have a translucent, shimmering effect, adding to the magical atmosphere. Okay, here's the first image. Definitely has an octopus. Is that a pirate's hat? It's definitely the look of the pirate's hat. It's not the common logo big octopus eyes, kind of a muted style. I see a treasure chest here with some pearls, it looks like. Okay, the next one's a little more cartoony. Definitely the pirate logo, lots of fish. We got two treasure chests with gold, gems and jewels. And then last is a more bubbly style. <laughs> I like that the octopus is wearing goggles. We got the pirate logo here. Definitely got the chest right. All the fish swimming around. A little more muted than the second one too. Okay, we ready for the reveal. This first image was Mid Journey version 6, this second image was Dolly 3, and this third image was Stable Diffusion XL. They're all pretty good. The second one, in my opinion, listened to the prompt the best. If we go back, we have the treasure chest, shimmering effect, colorful octopus. I like that it has the Pirates logo. And Stable Diffusion got that right too. Mid Journey, Mid Journey seemed to go in its own direction. Now, which one did you guys like best? And for fun, this is what Dolly 2 spit out. Definitely like a pastel style when you go for cartoon. It's really tough to see the logo. I definitely see this as a skull. I don't know what these words say, but Dolly 2 and then the three latest models, huge difference. Okay, the next round is a photorealistic human. And I got the prompt, generate a photorealistic image of a street performer, a middle-aged black male playing a saxophone on a busy city sidewalk. The setting should be an urban street with pedestrians, tall buildings, and street lights. The performer should have an expression of deep concentration and passion for his music. 
Now the first image here, the man's wearing one of those cabbie hats. I like the earring. Is he wearing a medallion around his neck? He was playing a sax. Looks like this saxophone has an attachment for like a speaker. One, two, three, four, five, six fingers I'm noticing. It's gonna make him much better at playing the sax though. We have the pedestrians on a busy city street. I like that each model gave us a black middle-aged male. Exactly what we asked for. Okay, this second image. I don't know what this saxophone is supposed to be. The hands look right to me. Eyes closed here. Definitely busy city streets, pedestrians. And then last. This male looks a bit older. Got a little gray in his beard, wearing a toque. Hands look right. The saxophone looks right. Looks at the right angle. Wearing what looks like a leather jacket. And the background is nicely muted. You see the pedestrians, you see the lights. This person's in the foreground. So those are our three images. If you wanna pause the video now, you can guess in the comments which image is for which generation model. And here's the answer. So the first one's Dolly 3. Now in previous videos, we've had this problem. This image doesn't look that photorealistic to me. It looks like a Pixar movie. Everything's a bit too shiny and a little bit too cartoony. Stable Diffusion XL. I like what it's doing here. I like the colors. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, Mid Journey version 6 knocked this prompt out of the park. This is one of my favorite images I have ever generated with AI. This one is beautiful. And those little light glares. Yeah, every background's muted here, but I think this one did it perfectly. Really stands out in the forefront. So what do you guys think? Which one is your favorite image? And then this is Dolly 2's generation for that same prompt. Again, with the artsy pastel kind of vibe, we're definitely not getting photorealistic images with Dolly 2. Okay, the next round is architecture. The prompt is, create an image of an elaborate Gothic cathedral complex with detailed flying buttresses, pointed arches, and stained glass windows. The surrounding area should include a small park with ancient trees, a cobblestone plaza, and statues from the medieval period. All right, this is image number one. It went with an isometric image in almost a bird's eye view. Definitely listen to the prompt. There's the garden. And I believe those are the buttresses coming from the walls. Okay, the next image. This one looks more like a photograph. You get the garden with the trees. Definitely gothic style. We got the cross up here. I think they went for a gothic church. I don't see the buttresses. I do see the pointing towers though. And then image number three. This one looks more like a painting, but gothic medieval style. The park is not that visible in the surroundings. And do we see any stained glass windows? I don't think we see any in any of them. I don't know if this counts. Yeah, I don't really see it in any of them. So three different styles for the same prompt. Which one do you prefer? And which image do you think was generated by which model? So the first one, the isometric image was generated with Dolly 3. The photograph style was Mid Journey version 6, and Stable Diffusion XL had more of a painting style. I'm definitely seeing some common traits in each of our generations. Dolly 3 seems to spit out illustration type images. Mid Journey is more photorealistic, and we're getting like a mix between the two with Stable Diffusion XL. Let's see what happens in the last two. First off, this is Dolly 2 for that same prompt. This is a busted up gothic complex. I like how usually the tower would be in the center. It's on the right side here. Definitely a big difference between this and our image models now. Next up, we have seamless textures. The prompt was create a seamless texture of a vintage floral wallpaper. The design should feature detailed hand-drawn flowers and leaves in pastel colors on a muted background, evoking a classic elegant style from the early 20th century. Image one looks very hand-drawn to me. I could see this on a wallpaper in a house. I'm seeing the pastel colors, I'm seeing it muted. It muted the foreground though, when the prompt just said mute the background. And I'm not sure how seamless it is. If I stack these squares up, yeah, I guess there's no major flower petals hanging on the outside to have such an obvious mismatch when you puzzle piece them up. Okay, the second one, I'm seeing the pastel colors does look hand-drawn again. I kind of see where it could be seamless. This edge of the flower here looks like it could be the edge of this flower, but at the top here, they don't look like they line up. And same with these leaves here. This is almost a full leaf. 
and this is almost a full leaf. And the last one, this looks more AI generated than the other two. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a human drawing. As for the seamlessness, maybe this top two, if I put this image next to it, the major flowers in the middle, so that won't have a problem lining up. This one's a bit tricky too. I don't know how much marks it gets for the seamless. All right, here are the three images. If you want, you can pause the video now and guess which image was generated by which model. And here's the answer. This one tricked me. I thought for sure this third one was gonna be Mid Journey version six based on all that we've seen. I think this one is just preference. They're all pretty good. If I had to choose, I think Mid Journey did the best with the seamless prompt. Now I know Mid Journey has a dash dash tile feature that creates seamless textures, but the other models don't. So I wanted to keep it even. And this is Dolly 2. This looks like MS Paint. And the last round is a business logo. So the prompt was, illustrate a logo for a gourmet coffee shop. The logo should feature a steaming coffee cup with coffee beans, and the design should have a cozy and inviting feel. The color scheme should include warm tones like brown, cream, and red. This is image number one. It tried to do text, but it got all of the spelling wrong. This is like a sketch of a logo design. Not quite a polished finished logo. Coffee beans. We get the warm tones. We have the reds and the browns and the beiges. Here's image number two. It definitely looks a little bit more polished. The words are still wrong. I think it was going for gourmet and then coffee. It forgot the CO. I'm seeing the reds, the cream colors. Here are the coffee beans. Definitely warm and inviting. And then the last image it didn't even bother with text. But sometimes with an AI model, that's a good thing. The colors are bang on. Steaming cup of coffee, coffee beans on the plate below it. I like the little paint runoff that's going on here. Like some splashes. There's also a splash here. Really fits with the overall aesthetic of this logo design. So here are the three. First off, which one do you like the best? Or which one has the most potential? And then can you guess which model generated which of these images? I think you guys can guess the Dolly 3 one. The Mid Journey and the Stable Diffusion XL might be difficult. And this is the answer. So we know a lot of Dolly 3 images have been getting pretty close with text. And I guess this is kind of close. It's definitely closer than the Stable Diffusion model. I have no idea what's going on at the bottom here. What is this second word even supposed to be? I know it's supposed to be coffee. This is gourmet. And then the new Mid Journey model version 6 doesn't even try for text. And it shot out what I think is a fairly decent logo. So that's the answer for the fifth round. And then Dolly 2. Got some cookies being dipped in the coffee. I think it got the closest for the word. We're so close with coffee here. But look how far we've come. Dolly 2 and then Dolly 3 or even Mid Journey version 6. Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to use the new Mid Journey version, it's in alpha stage in your Discord server type slash settings, hit enter, and then you're gonna have to select it from this drop-down box. By default, the model is version 5.2. You're gonna have to select version six. Then when you go dash imagine, it's gonna use that newest model. If you guys like these videos and you want me to test all the models with different types of prompts, more styles, more image types, maybe different aspect ratios, let me know in the comments below and I will continue this series. There's an earlier one on my channel, Prompt Battle 1. We only faced off Dolly 3 and Mid Journey, I believe. This time I added in Stable Diffusion XL, but I'd love to add in even more image models. So if you have ideas for other ones, write that down below as well. That's it for now. Peace.